The problem is to optimize uh, the area of a rectangle inscribed in a semicircle, as shown, of radius r. Um, how do you do it? Well, once you have the uh, drawing down, you're really not sure what the dimensions ought to be, so those are the things that you make your variables. We're going to say that our variable is this distance here. From there to there is x. And now the, rect the area of the rectangle can be based off of x somehow, and it's a matter of figuring out how to do that. Uh, it's going to require you to do a little something. You've got to draw in your own little line segment here. That's what really, uh, that's what is going to allow us to model this uh, length as a function of that length. Because from here to here is r, because it's the radius of, of, of the circle. And by Pythagoras, that means this side must be the square root of r squared minus x squared. And once we have the sides of the rectangle, it's all, it's all over, because the area is now just the base times the height. And the base is 2x, and the height is radical r squared minus x squared. We want to optimize this function, find its maximal value on the integral. Uh, x can be as large, as small as 0, and x can be as large as r. But you can see, in either case, if x is 0, then this segment is zero and you cease to have a rectangle. And if x is r, then this point here is over here and you, again, you cease to have a, a rectangle. Plus, you can also plug in zero or r into the area function and get zero out of it. Uh, so it's zero at, at the end point, so we gotta hunt for critical numbers. So a prime of x equals two times, we need the product rule, f prime g, r squared minus x squared, uh, plus, g prime, which is 1 over 2 square roots of r squared minus x squared times minus 2x, so minus 2x times f again, so squared. And critical numbers set that equal to 0. And see what we come up with. It's a pretty simple matter. Take this term, when we bring it to the other side, and then cross multiply. Uh, that's going to leave us with r squared minus x squared equals x squared. Bring this over, 2x squared, and you find that the uh, critical number occurs when x equals um, uh, oh, square root of r squared over 2 or r over square root of 2. If that's the case, that's the critical value. So <clears throat> if that's this distance, what should this distance be? What are the, the dimensions that will maximize it? Well, if you notice, r over radical 2, that fits perfectly inside the 45, 45, 90 triangle. That's r, and this side is r over radical 2. And that means that this side is also r over ra radical 2. Making it 45, 45, 90, meaning that it's the optimal rectangle is uh, twice as long as it is tall. As it is tall. And the uh, maximal area that you're going to get out of that is going to be, well, if you look at it like that, twice as long as, as it is tall, we have a, rec uh, a square here whose, length is, whose side length is r over radical 2. You square that, so the area of the whole square is r squared over 2. And you have two of them, so it's this times 2. And the maximal area is r squared. That's the maximal area, and it occurs when x is r over radical 2. And that's the algebraic solution. Um, picking x to be this variable. But you can do it uh, by, there's, a, there's also another way to do this, by not making that your, um, your variable. Another way to do it, I like this one a little bit better, is you can model the area as a function of theta in here, right, the central angle. If that's theta, and this is still r, what's the area of the rectangle? Well, it's still going to be base times height. The base is r cosine theta, and the height is r sine theta. So the area as a function of theta is 2 times this times this, or 2r squared sine theta cosine theta. And we want to maximize this function on the interval, theta can be as small as zero, in which case there's going to be zero area, or it can be as large as pi over two. Again, zero area. So we've got to look for critical numbers. A prime 
equals 2r squared constant, that pulls out, times f prime g, cosine squared theta, plus g prime f, so that's minus sine squared theta, equals 0. How are we going to solve this? It looks intimidating. But it's really no big deal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring, uh, set this part equal to 0, bring the, the sine squared over and divide by cosine squared. That'll give you um, tan squared theta equals 1, right, when you divide by the uh, cosine. So that means that tan theta uh, equals plus or minus 1. It's not going to be minus 1, so it's just going to be plus 1. And y you know how to solve this, right? The, the tangent of what angle equals 1? Well, it's 1, 1, radical 2 in the 45, 45, 90 triangle, pi over 2. I mean, pi over 4, rather. That's going to be the answer. That's where the critical number happens. So uh, it appears that the maximum value occurs when theta is pi over 4. And you can plug that back into the original and see if it's going to work, right? 2r squared times the, the sine of pi over 4, which is 1 over radical 2, times the cosine of pi over 4, which is again 1 over radical 2. These cancel out, and again you're left with r squared.